Hey guys, it's Dan from Prime United. I'm here to talk to you about the new Eagle Edit 3.0 software and our new firmware 3.0 update. As you can see, we're going to be using the Eagle Edit for our new Xbox version in this video, but everything we will learn here applies to the PS3 version as well. As you can see, everything looks very similar to our last Eagle Edit. Um, there's a couple new features that we're going to talk about as well. Um, the interface uh, that I'm using right now is going to look slightly different from the one you're going to be using because this is a beta, but functionally it's going to be the exact same as your version. So the first thing I want to talk about is how to update your Eagle Eyes firmware in Eagle Edit, one of the new features in this update. First thing you're going to need is a necessary bin file for the firmware you wish to update onto your Eagle Eye, which you will be able to download directly from our support page when we release it. Uh, it's important to note that this only applies to future firmware updates it is not recommended for updating our earlier firmwares. Uh, so once you have the necessary bin file, which I have right here, the first thing you want, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place it inside of your Eagle Edit folder. Uh, you won't be able to update the bin without it in the Eagle Edit folder. So be sure it's there. Once you have it there, you're going to want to open up Eagle Edit. Uh, then the next step you want to do is you want to plug in your Eagle Eye with the switch set to play into your PC. As soon as your PC recognizes your Eagle Eye, you're going to want to press the bin button at the top of the toolbar and then you're going to want to locate the necessary bin file for the update which is this one right here and then you're going to click open and you're going to see a status bar showing the status of your update uh, it's important to note that if you switch to another application during the firmware update the progress bar will stop and it will sort of look like the updater has stopped responding but in fact it is still working so be sure to let it finish and do not unplug your Eagle Eye or close Eagle Edit before the update finish. Doing so could damage your Eagle Eye. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate briefly what it should look like. So let's switch it to let's switch it and try to reopen it. As you can see, you get the not responding and it looks like it's not working. Don't fret. It's going to finish. It's just like the status bar is going to look a little messed up for a little bit. As you can see, once it's done, the bar is going to be full green and it's going to show the done button. Uh, sometimes it may take a little long, like that time it took about a minute to two minutes. Just let it run its course. And once you're done, hit OK. And that's how you update the firmware. So the next thing I want to talk about is key mapping. Key mapping is an important step in properly configuring your Eagle Eye. This is where you map the Xbox buttons for a particular game to the desired keyboard and mouse buttons you wish to use for that game. For this demo, I'm going to be using Modern Warfare 2. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to know the basic controller layout for the game. The best way to do this is to go into the game itself, go into the controller setup, and then with a pen and paper, write down the commands for each button. Then once you have that, you're going to want to go over to your computer, you're going to want to take your Eagle Eye, move the switch to play, and plug it into your computer. So for this example, we're going to be key mapping up for Modern Warfare 2. Now to save a little bit of time, I've already assigned most of the key map buttons already, but I've left two open to illustrate how to do it. So in order to key map, what you want to do is you want to go over to the empty field, you want to assign a button, click on it, and once you've clicked on it, then you click uh, the desired keyboard or mouse button that you wish to assign. In this instance, uh, left trigger is aimed on the site, so I'm going to want to click right click, so click the right click button, it's going to assign the right click, and then you're going to move over to the next empty field, click on it, and then assign whichever button, in this instance, left mouse. And then once you have all the fields filled out, then you're done with the key mapping for the, for the controller. The next step you want to do in key mapping is you want to assign your scope mode button. What scope mode is, is it's a new feature that we've incorporated in the new firmware update. What it allows you to do is it allows you to have two advanced calibration settings for one key map. Primarily, we decided to incorporate this feature in the new firmware because there have been a couple recent games like Black Ops that, have, that use two different sensitivities between the hip fire and aiming down the sight, which make calibrating for them very difficult. So with this new feature, now you can have a hip fire settings and then an aim down the sight settings. So what you want to do is you want to click on this initiate scope mode field. Uh, like initiate scope field essentially switches between your primary dead zone and sensitivity settings, which is right here on the left and your secondary dead zone and sensitivity settings on the right. So like I said before, it's ideally used for your aiming down the site, so you want to use the same button that you had for aiming down the site. In this instance here, we had right mouse, so you're going to want to click right mouse. 
and then once you have this once you have this all set up then you're going to want to click send to device and then write to whichever key map in this example we're going to be using key map one and hit okay and then you successfully sent this new key map to your eagle eye once you have successfully sent your newly configured key map to your eagle eye you're going to want to unplug it from your pc and then you're going to want to go over to your xbox and properly set up your eagle eye with your xbox then you're going to want to set up your eagle eyes in-game advanced calibration system for that particular game this will not be covered in this video but it will be covered in a separate video for our firmware 3.0 advanced calibration system essentially this is where you configure your eagle eyes dead zone and sensitivity for that particular game that will be hard saved directly onto your eagle eye for that particular key map in this video we're going to focus on taking those in-game calibrations that you have just done and saved onto your eagle eye and then properly synchronizing them onto your computer in Eagle Edit so that you can save them. This allows you to save multiple game configs on your PC that can be loaded directly onto your Eagle Eye at any time as you switch between games. So once we set up our advanced calibration settings in game for our Eagle Eye, we're going to want to unplug our Eagle Eye from our Xbox, take it over to our computer, and then we're going to want to replug it into our computer with the switch still on play. Once your computer recognizes your Eagle Eye, we're going to need to get all the settings that we've saved onto your Eagle Eye into Eagle Edit. In order to do this, we're going to have to use the synchronization function of Eagle Edit. So you're going to want to go to this top toolbar here. You're going to notice the synchronization button. You're going to want to click on that. And this is going to load what's ever been saved onto your Eagle Eye. It should take just a second. Okay? So this is our key map that we had sent to it earlier. And then right here is all the settings that we have for our Eagle Eye. Here's the primary advanced calibration settings that we have. And then here's a secondary aim down the site advanced calibration settings. So once you have all this synchronized, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to save this to your computer. So you're going to want to go to File. You're going to want to go down to Save As. Uh, we're going to want to save this as our Modern, Warf Modern Warfare 2 settings. And then I like to save it in the Save folder, so click on the Save folder. I already have one from earlier, but I sort of made this a, a different file name. And so we're going to hit Save. And then if we ever want to retrieve this and resend it to our Eagle Eye, like say if we switch it to Battlefield 3 and then we want to switch back, then we're going to want to go to File, we're going to want to click Open, and then we're going to want to navigate to our Eagle Eye Save folder, and then here's the settings we just saved, and then we're going to want to click Open. And then this is going to bring up all the settings that we just saved, and then if we want to send it back to the device, we just do the same thing we did before and send it over. This concludes our instructional video for the Eagle Eye 3.0 software for the Xbox version of the Eagle Eye. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for future Eagle Eye videos.